Cindy and Eddie here, off on another adventure, taking you along with us as we squeeze the day. Today we're heading west from Del Rio, Texas. We heard about a great view overlooking the Picos River, so we're going out to explore. Being new to the area, we initially missed the turn and crossed over the river. We made a quick U-turn and headed back to find the entrance to the rest area. We are headed towards that overlook, which is the rest stop. Driving in this part of Texas, you'll see a lot of roads carved through the mountains in order to make the driving distance shorter. The entrance will be marked with a blue sign like this, which also happens to have a historical marker. The road up to the rest stop follows along a curvy route and gives you a brief view of what you're about to see at the overlook. Here we have our first glimpse of the Picos River Bridge. With a picnic area like this, who wouldn't want to have a lunch here. We had three different picnic benches to choose from and while we were there other people showed up. It does get pretty busy there. We did mention that there were historical markers here. Texas has a lot of them throughout the state and if you get a chance to go check some of them out they're pretty interesting. Just to give you perspective on the size of this bridge, that is a pickup truck pulling a trailer going across it right now. We can imagine a train of wagons crossing right here and then heading up the cliffs on the other side. Further up the mountain, it does actually have access to the main road. Why don't you tell us what you think? Leave a comment below. This fence, if you look at Eddie, comes up to his weight. I have to zoom out for that. The wind picked up here so we didn't get the rest of the audio. We just wanted to point out that the fence is really short so please be careful if you have kids keep an eye on them and dogs and cats or whatever you have loose. Keep an eye on them so they're not over here playing by this. As we walk further down, we did notice that it ends abruptly. The view is fantastic. I really wish we had something to control the wind. Maybe we should add that to our wish list. It looks like there are caves in the side of this cliff. We're not really sure how you would get to them. You can see the heavy sediment from the sand over years of running downstream. And then, at the end of it, is where the Picos and Rio meet. Time to move on to the next stop. Here you can see how the roads are cut into the mountains. We're on our way to Comstock because we've been told about this little restaurant that serves the best burger in town. We're going to have to go check it out. It's called the J&P Bar and Grill. The name JNP reminds us of a place back home, so we wanted to come check it out and see how similar it was. Especially considering they both suggest they have the best burgers in their towns. This really feels like a cozy family owned restaurant. We are at JNP Bar and Grill. We were told by some a lot of people actually that this place has the best burgers in town and it sounds a little familiar because John and Peters which also goes by JNP and New Hope also claims to have the best burgers in town so we had to stop and check it out and since we've heard so much about chicken fried steak I'm gonna try that today so we'll get some pictures of your food in just a moment this is what the menu here looks like It looks delicious. And I got just a 
just a regular cheeseburger because that's all we wanted to try. So we're gonna give those a shot uh, and we'll let you know. And that is what they look like. <laughs> All right, I did get the jalapeno mayo on this, but after my first bite, yeah, that's really good. That's a very meaty, juicy burger. Uh, I should have shot at that real quick, but very delicious. Highly recommended. Thank you for joining us. We hope you enjoyed that quick view, a little bit of uh, life into Texas. Burgers here at JNP's were really good. The chicken fried steak, super delicious, and also very popular. So we might have to come back real soon. Make sure you hit the like button, subscribe, and ring that bell for notifications so you can continue to follow along with us as we continue to travel and adventure. Squeeze the day. Well. Wow.